Hey guys, this is Nico Bilovic here. I'm um, coming up with you with a tutorial on today. <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your i7-2600. Um, this goes specifically for the non-K edition. Uh, um, I have my specs for my system is I have 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1050i. And yeah, so guys, um, first of all, before we start, um, I'd just like to let you know, guys, that I am not responsible for any damages you done to your system. Uh, I would like to, uh, I would say that uh, take heavy precaution before doing this, guys, and um, always think uh, twice before doing this as well. And also, guys, make sure you have a very decent CPU cooler. Um, I'm using a Cooler Master Hyper TX3 Evo. Um, yep, that's I've keep my temps stay under uh, fifty or uh, under sixty degrees. So it's a very decent cooler, especially uh for gaming. So yes, guys, I would just say that um get decent cooler. Um, please don't use the stock Intel cooler because that's uh very very not good. The heat sinks on that is not really good. And yes, uh, just get a stock, uh, get a proper cooler. Alright, guys. So what you guys want to do first is you want to boot into your BIOS. Um, I booted into my BIOS. Uh, pressing F two while the computer is starting, and it brings it brings me to this screen. So you guys, what you gonna want you guys want to do is you want to go to the OC Tweaker tab, and you want to go and see if you if you find the CPU configuration and you should be able to find the CPU ratio, the host clock all this type of things so um, there's an option for my motherboard uh, called the non, non no K OC um, I have this enabled uh, it helps my, it actually works um, by not, not a lot I would say but it actually works but uh, not that's not about the video today, so um, we're doing base clocking. So um, technically, um, I would, the good starting point for base clocking is 103. And um, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go if you find find your host clock override BCLK, and you want to put the number 103. And what this does, guys, the base clocking is uh, every component on your motherboard, from your RAM to your graphics card to your hard drive as well, um, all of its frequency gets boosted. So, yeah, um, even your RAM too. So, uh, so, a good starting point for you guys is 103. And uh, once you guys do that, is you want to save it and uh, do a stress test. And um, yeah, stress test, and see how far your 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 max turbo speed on your CPU gets, and see if how stable it is. Um, I recommend running the uh, stress test for around five minutes, and if you don't experience any blue screens or deaths, um, then uh, go by threes increments. So, example would be if I'm on one and three right now, you just do plus three. So 103.3, and if it's stable and you're getting no blue screens of death, do the repeat the same thing again. Go back into the BIOS, increase it by threes. So 103.6, if it's the same thing, if it's uh, stable again, I'll uh, go by threes. Uh, for me guys, personally, this is my um, preference. 105 has been the most stable for me. Um, I've tried to go to 106, uh it's not really stable um after a long use but 105 for me is the 20 most 20 most stable for 24 7 and guys um it's different for everyone to be honest um not everyone can get the same results um other people's been getting at 108 so yeah it's mostly just trial and error guys and uh i wouldn't i wouldn't go too hard on this because you're you have a chance of frying your hard drive so that's what we've been saying. Um, uh, go, uh, take, uh, be careful while doing this. Uh, take every precaution. 
because you might be able to fry your hard drive. I've seen, I've seen, I heard people being do, um the fried the hard drive on the forms, and the system wouldn't boot up. So I wouldn't go too hard on this, guys. The base clocking because you have a risk of frying the components. And yes, um, as you may see, guys, I haven't touched the voltage. I haven't told you guys to touch the voltage, so uh, don't touch it, guys. Just leave it on auto. Um, cause, uh, I've tried it myself, raising the voltage and, um, you're just getting more heat basically. For me, leaving on Odo, it seems to, uh, seem to, um, be stable and it hasn't got me any blue screens yet. So yeah, um, I would recommend you guys not to touch this voltage. If you, if you know how, what you're doing, then go ahead, then do whatever you want. But if you guys don't know a single thing about it, then don't touch it because you're in a risk of either blowing up your CPU or degrading degrading it. Because you guys need to uh, have a bit more common sense on more voltage on how to use it, that's why. So yeah guys, um, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys need uh, any help, uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, help you guys out. Just comment down below on the comment section, like and subscribe, and if you don't like the video, don't be afraid to dislike, and that should be all guys, that should be all it, guys, so uh, yeah, peace out.